Many TV viewers lost a childhood friend recently with the death of Cannonball. 35 years ago, he starred in our last local show dedicated to kids, jokes, and cartoons. As a way to remember Cannonball, Craig Worth looks back at Hotel Balderdash and other Channel 4 kids shows of the past that so many of you would wake up to each morning. It's tonight's Worth Watching. He was Larry John, but to thousands, he was Cannonball. Cannonball died this last week at age 68. He and Harvey ran Channel 4's Hotel Balderdash for 10 years. And when the zany hotel closed, it truly was the end of an era. It was the end of a genre, the last of our kids' shows. Perhaps the greatest tribute to the likable star is to remind us that he and Harvey were among the amazing and delightful group of local TV giants that we all grew up with. Each of our generations had our video heroes and friends. Cannonball carried on that tradition with class. And again in tribute, we rewind the history others started and he finished. Fireman Frank was one of the early heroes of kids TV. You better get your hose over here. My nose? No, your hose. Oh, your my, hose. My hose. Yeah. And of course, he had a message for each kid. Do not play with matches. If you never talk down to a child, you get down on their level. So I was either down on my knees talking to them or lifting them up. Fireman Frank is back again this year. So why do I have such a fondness for kids TV? Well, it's where I started 48 years ago, here on Social Hall Avenue, when this was the home to Channel 4. You see, I was on the Fireman Frank crew. My job, I rang the fire bell that started the show. And then to tape the five shows we did in the night. We had a number of shows. We had so much fun. It was that simple. Captain KC also commanded the kids at Channel 4. You joined his club promising to be truthful, to share with your sister, and to help mom. You wrote the captain who displayed your letters on the deck of the SS KC Picks, as we were KCPX back then. Then there was Captain Scotty, an astronaut who visited Martians in space and kids at the Earthly Supermarket. Captain Scotty. An important member of the KCPX crew. And that brings us to when two BYU students checked in to Hotel Balderdash and Cannonball became part of a kid's day for thousands with Harvey and their sidekick Raymond. They did 480 shows a year over 240 mornings and afternoons. How did they do it? Harvey says Raymond was a good source of material. He would choose chew bazooka bubble gum. <laughs> He'd bring in all the wrappers, and we'd do bits off of the bazooka bubble gum wrappers. <laughs> hey, did you hear the one about the two blood cells? Telling them a joke. <laughs> yeah, they loved in vain. <laughs> they taped five days of shows, all in one day a week, with 100 kids crammed into the studio. Hotel Butter Dash. People could actually come down and be a part of the whole show. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tuba. Tuba who? Tuba toothpaste. <laughs> because videotape was so expensive, few actual shows survive. Besides, who thought it would ever end? And who thought we would ever grow up? And whoever thought Larry John would leave us, as so many of our childhood TV friends have also gone. Rest in peace, friend. Craigworth, News for Utah. After Hotel Balderdash went off the air, Larry Cannonball John moved to Arizona where he operated a successful advertising agency for many years.